Big things come in small packages, so we found some small Class A RVs that pack a big punch. Stick around, folks. You're going to want to check these out. Hi, everybody. Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera, and Susan's behind the camera. And today we're going to do some walkthroughs of some small Class A RVs. We found some really terrific floor plans. We hope you'll stick around and check them out. Hey, if you've seen our YouTube channel before, welcome back. We're certainly glad to have you here. And if this is your first time seeing us on YouTube, welcome aboard. We make tons of videos all about RVing, and we also have our website, rvblogger.com where we literally have hundreds of articles that we've written all about RVing and if that's not enough we also have a Facebook group called RV Camping for Newbies we hope you'll join and join in the fun you can learn all kinds of tips and tricks about RVing from your fellow RVers today though we're gonna do some walkthroughs on some fantastic class A small RVs this Class A RV is the Jayco Alante 27A. It is only 29 feet 11 inches long, but I gotta tell you, it feels much, much larger inside. When you first walk in, on the right-hand side, you have the driver's cab area, which is just huge. Both of these chairs swivel around so they can face towards the back of the RV. And then overhead, you have a double bunk that goes up and down and two people can sleep up here very, very comfortably. Right behind the, the driver's cab area, you have a dinette that can seat four people very easily. It's very comfortable as well. And this also converts into a bed so someone can sleep here. Just on the other side of the dinette, you have this really cool televator, which is a great spot for the TV. Anybody that's eating dinner or sitting on the couch across from the dinette can enjoy watching TV. And by the way, this also folds out into a, a bed that someone can sleep in as well. You'll also notice above the couch, there's ample storage cabinetry, so you can store all kinds of stuff. And there's more storage above the dinette as well, leading into the kitchen area. Now the kitchen is sort of an L-shaped kitchen, and uh, it gives you a good amount of countertop space. There's also a big, deep, single bowl sink here. If you need more countertop space, there's also an extended countertop. This has a three burner stove, small oven underneath, and then a microwave above. And of course, there's additional storage here as well. Right across from the kitchen area, we have the refrigerator and separate freezer. Very, very good size. And I really, really like the fact that they put the cabinet doors on the face of the refrigerator. It sort of brings the whole kitchen together and really makes it feel like one large kitchen. And then right next to the refrigerator, there's some pantry storage, both above and below. So in the very back of this motorhome, we are in the master bedroom, which features a king size bed. On each side of the king size bed, there are little nightstands for you to be able to charge your phones at night or whatever you need to do. There's also cabinetry for storage above and there are reading lights mounted underneath of those cabinets too. Behind me here, there is deep storage closets and drawers. And uh, boy, there's just a lot of room back here. I love this dark cabinetry too. It just feels very, very rich and luxurious. And then finally, there's a wardrobe closet which is nice and deep and big. And then a couple of drawers below that as well. Here I am in the shower in the master bathroom and you can see that it's about three feet wide, about two feet deep. I really like the glass doors in the shower stall. It just gives it a much more luxurious feel. As far as headroom goes, if you stand in the skylight area, there's at least a foot of space over my head. I'm 5'11", so I would imagine most people could fit in here just fine. Outside the shower, there's a nice medicine cabinet. Below that, we have a vanity with storage. Plenty of room in this good sized bathroom. This Class A RV is the Coachman Pursuit 27DS. It's 28 feet, nine inches long, but it feels much bigger in here. All these small Class A's to me seem to feel much bigger than they are. And I think it's because of all the slide outs that are included. This one, this entire side slides out for the kitchen and dinette area. But starting up front, you have a large cab area, 
with a single bunk over top that will slide down for someone to sleep in. Then you have your dinette. Dinette can easily seat four people, looks very, very comfortable. Also, this will convert into a bed for one person as well. And then you have your TV location right above the dinette. It's a great spot to watch TV either while sitting here eating dinner or reclining in your nice sofa right across from it, which also, by the way, jackknifes into another bed as well. I do want to point out these storage cabinets up top. They are just massive. So there's a lot of storage up there. But there's great storage all throughout this Class A RV. Moving back through the RV, the kitchen area is sort of an L-shaped kitchen. You have a nice double bowl sink on a 45 degree angle, uh, extra storage cabinets above, microwave, and then you have a three burner stove, small oven down below, and then of course you have storage and drawer storage underneath as well. Directly across from the kitchen, sink and all of that is your refrigerator this is a very good size refrigerator. it's nice and deep separate freezer feels very good because it's on right now so that cool air feels great right next to the fridge you have a pantry cabinet above and then you have these nice drawers down below here we are in the master bedroom and it features a large king size bed got a little nightstand or ledge on either side with some usb ports above you have good storage and also some night lights underneath. Moving through the bedroom, the TV location is right across from the bed, so you can lay in bed and enjoy some TV. And then we have a very large wardrobe closet with drawers and extra storage down below. Okay, here I am in the bathroom and feels pretty good in here. Nice three, three and a half foot shower, plenty of overhead room as well. No medicine cabinet, but a mirror here. There is a corner medicine cabinet that you could use for storage. And then down below, of course, you have a little vanity with some storage under that as well. This Class A motorhome is by Forest River and it's their FR3 model 32DS. It's 33 feet, 11 inches long, and it's a pretty roomy Class A RV. You'll notice in the front, there is a very large driver's cab. It just feels open like it's contiguous with the rest of this RV. Both of the captain's chairs swivel around so you can use them to enjoy with the rest of your family. In addition to that, there's a bunk over the cab which lowers down so two people can sleep up here. And by the way, this Class A, R this Class a RV can sleep up to eight people. Moving back behind the driver's cab, we have a very nice size dinette. I would say you could seat four people in here, maybe five or six if a couple of them are kids, but this also converts into a bed that a kid could sleep in. And then you have your TV mounted above. It's a little bit of an odd location because it kind of blocks the windows, but it's a great location because you can see it from the dinette and you can also view it from the couch right across. Now this jackknifes into another bed where you know, a small adult or a child could sleep here as well. Nice size window above and additional storage is above that as well. The kitchen in here sits right behind the dinette and the living area and it feels really big. I mean, it's just nice and open. It's kind of an L-shaped kitchen setup. Uh, on this side of the kitchen, we have storage above, good size microwave oven, three burner stove with an oven down below and then additional cabinet and drawer storage space. Behind me here, we have a double bowl sink with a very interesting sink faucet. This thing pulls out and then you can use this to hose off your dishes and then it just fits right back in there. I've never seen a faucet like that before. Uh, there's also some additional storage underneath of the sink space. Right across from me here is a very nice double door refrigerator. I guess we could call it a side-by-side. -side. And then it's got a side-by-side -side freezer up top as well. And that's a lot of freezer space. Just past the refrigerator, there's also a pantry cabinet above and below. As we move back through this Class A RV, we get to the bunk room. And this is a really unusual bunk room. The top bunk can be in the up position or it can drop down for one kid to sleep up there. And then it has a jackknife sofa down below, which pulls out so someone can sleep here. The other nice thing about this sofa is it sits right across from a little TV area. 
There's also a dry erase board. This opens up. There's storage down below. You can store all your movies and DVDs and all that good stuff. So here we are in the owner's bedroom, which features a king size bed. Both sides of the bed have a little bit of storage space. This size has a door that opens with shelves inside, little nightstand, receptacle and USB ports. The other side has some electric controls, USB ports and some cubbies behind. There's also storage over top. At this end, at the foot of the bed, the entire wardrobe slides in and out. Also, the TV is located here, but the cabinetry and wardrobe closets are very, very good sized. So here I am inside the bathroom, standing inside the shower. It's about a little over three feet wide and about two feet deep. Good sized space, lots of headroom above. I'm 5'11 and there's plenty of space over my head. I love the glass doors that are in here as well. Very nice feel. There's no medicine cabinet here, but there is a mirror. And then you have this large cabinet above that would serve as a medicine cabinet. Nice single sink, extra countertop space, and storage down below. This Class A motorhome is the Jayco Elante 29S. It is 32 feet, two inches long, and it feels like a much larger Class A. We really, really like some of the appointments that are in here though, and we certainly like the floor plan a lot. Starting at the front of this motorhome, you have the driver's cab area, which just is huge. It just feels gigantic up here. Both chairs are captain's chairs and they spin around so that they can face into the motorhome as well. And then above, there's a cab, uh, a bunk that will lower down and then two people could sleep up here very, very easily. Right behind the driver's seat, we have movie style seating here, two recliners that are very, very nice and comfortable. Just above, there's also plenty of storage for whatever you need it for. On the other side, you've got a dinette that would easily seat four people. This also converts into a bed, and I would say a child would be able to sleep in here very, very easily. Storage above this area as well. The TV location is right above the dinette, and you could easily see that from your movie theater style seating. You might be able to tell from this angle that this entire side of this motorhome slides out. And we think that really plays a big role in giving it such a good flow from front to back. But anyway, behind the seating area and dinette area, we enter into the kitchen area. It's got plenty of counter space up here, a nice big deep single bowl sink. And then you have a three burner stove, microwave above, plenty of storage cabinetry both above and below and lots of drawer space as well. There's also a pantry cabinet here which gives you plenty of shelving both above and below. And then right next to the pantry is the refrigerator and the separate freezer. And with the refrigerator having the cabinet style doors installed, it just really pulls this whole area in, makes it feel like one big inline kitchen setup. Here I am inside the bathroom of this motorhome, and one thing we like about it is its location. It's kind of centered in the, in the middle of the motorhome between the living area and the master bedroom, but it makes it much, much larger and it's accessible for everyone this way. The shower itself is pretty large. It's about three feet by two, and the headroom in here is really great. In, underneath the skylight, uh, there's probably six, 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 seven inches of, of head space. So plenty of room here. I love the glass shower doors on a shower. It just makes everything seem bigger and more luxurious as well. As we move into the vanity area, there are medicine cabinets all the way across, plenty of storage space. And as we move down to the vanity, there's a single bowl sink, lots of countertop space, and then there's storage underneath the sink and the counter space as well. Okay, so the owner's bedroom is in the back of this motorhome and it features a queen size bed. On each side of the bed, there's a little nightstand and it has storage underneath of it. And then there are storage cabinets above and the cabinets have little reading lights mounted underneath. So it makes it nice and bright for you while you're, if you choose to read a book before bed. Right across from the bed, you have a nice TV location, a whole entire bank of drawers. And then you have this really large wardrobe closet to give you plenty of space. 
Let us know which one of these small Class A RVs you liked best in the comments down below. We hope you enjoyed checking them all out in our video. And speaking of checking it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, please just click one of the boxes down below. And remember to subscribe to the RV Blogger YouTube channel when you do and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every week when we release a brand new video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.